everyone, this is Neil Bolger, and welcome to the first video of Calculating Building Peak Loads. These videos are meant to be guides and helpful tips on how to use Train Trace to calculate a building's peak load. Um, we're going to go through a number of things, and again, hopefully I can give some guidance and insight for those that have questions and are just starting off, and are sort of being thrown a project and have never used Trace. So I'm actually going to break up this tutorial into 10 different videos. Hopefully that way you can come back to the ones that are most meaningful or most interesting or maybe help answer a certain question um, as you go. So in this one, we're going to cover this intro to train trace. Um, we're going to look at the software itself and we're going to understand a little bit about how it, how it looks and how it interacts uh, and go from there and set up set up a project and then we're going to go into uh, some other things down the ways design days, weather files, uh, and so forth as you can see in this list. So without further ado let's jump over here to Windows to our wonderful terminal server. Um, I'm going to be using terminal server for this but I would recommend doing everything on your local machine. So train trace, so train trace is it's called Train Trace Loads, and the current version we have is called Train Trace 700. Um, the exact version is always changing. They're always making little improvements and coming up with new things, so make sure you have the most current version. There's another video where I'll talk about that. Uh, okay, so here we go. So I open Trace, and it's giving us a number of options of opening an existing file. I'm going to create a new project. Um, create a new lead project. I'm not entirely certain what the difference is and maybe we'll look at those at some point. For now let's just create a new project. It's going to ask us to save it. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to say new demo trace project and we'll call this demo IG trace. I don't want too many letters. Um, don't use too many letters to name your file. Trace is an older software and when you have I think more than 32 letters it starts to freak out. So if you ever have problems, that might be why. Okay, so here we have it. So here is Trace. Um, it's not that visual, the software, just to start off, so you're aware. Um, you can't actually see the building that we're going to be creating and using. Um, from the top down, there's information about the project. Sometimes it's good to put this in, um, IG Oakland office maybe. Um, you don't have to fill this in, but again, it's always good to put that in. It might be good, too, to put in like who's working on this, because a lot of these trace files will live dormant for one to five years and then have questions. Um, so there's the information. There's about where the building is, the where the location is, the weather file. Templates, and we'll get into templates. These are templates for thermostats, internal loads, uh, the wall construction, things like that. And we'll spend a whole video on templates the rooms, so here's where you actually create a room and create geometry, um, an air conditioning system that serves multiple rooms, and then a little toggle where you actually assign rooms. Let me think, what else about trace? This is the main window where you build a project. There's also the libraries where you can see components of trace and if I click any of these, it'll actually open a whole other window, which is the Trace Library window. And you can actually keep this open without having Trace open. And in here, there's all these little icons. Trace loves icons, but it's kind of the same set of information. So there's a library for weather files, schedules, which a schedule is what time. Let's just look at a schedule. Sometimes people start off say, what is a schedule? So a schedule is when is something available and do I want to change it throughout the day? So if we were to look at, we don't often use them in loads, but a schedule is a, a, a maybe a 24 hour day or, or something like that where each hour we have a different fraction of how much a certain load is putting off heat or maybe how many people are in the building. So here I selected high-rise building, you can see there actually is a schedule that says at midnight there's zero percent of whatever amount of loads are in this high-rise and they peak around 
11 a.m. It's the idea of a schedule. So again, though, schedules, uh, constructions, glass types, materials, uh, internal loads, shading, there's lots of different things. And we'll come back to these as needed throughout the tutorial. We could probably spend a whole one on constructions, really. Constructions made up of materials, things like that. Um, so there's libraries. Those libraries live on your C drive. Trace is a C-based software, meaning that it likes to live on your C drive and it really doesn't like to live off the network. You can still work off the network, that's fine. Just be aware sometimes if you have problems, it can be attributed to working off the network. So you can always try saving it. Um, so that's Trace and let's get going into how to use it.